There are two specially marked six-sided dice. One has the number 024024 and one has 121212. Both of them are rolled together and the score from each die is written down. What is the distribution of the sum of these scores? Okay, so, well, distribution means um, a description of all the possible outcomes and how likely they all are. Um, and I'm going to need to therefore figure out what all of the outcomes could possibly be. So, okay. Well, the sample space is the rolls of pairs of dice like this. Now uh, you roll the two dice and you get an answer. Uh, and the um, and all of those pairs have two options um, for what these things are. And so um, what's on, on one die, um, the, the one that's 024024, uh, and what's on the other die, they're two random variables that both describe this situation. And we're gonna to have to combine them together by adding them. So I reckon what I'm gonna do is say, let X1 be the score on the 024024 die and let x2 be the score on the 121212 die. Okay, so then um, a description of the distribution of each of those separately ignoring the others. Um, so uh, x1 can be uh, 0, 2 or 4 and the probability that x1 is equal to x, little x1 uh, would be, well, I guess a third of them are zero, like two out of the six, which would be a third. Okay. Um, and let's see, X2 can be one or two. And the probability that capital X2 is equal to little x2 would be, you know, half and half because half of them are ones and half of them are twos. Okay. And so what we want um, uh, is the distribution of X1 plus X2. Okay, um, so before we even want that, maybe we should say let T be X1 plus X2. Okay, and what we want is the distribution of T. So the two dice would be independent of each other. So any option for one of them could go with any option for the other. And that's a really good time to use a tree diagram, I reckon, to combine them. So let's see, we've got the first die. So X1 is either zero, two, or four. And those each happen with probability a third. And then X2 is either one or two. Uh, and there with the probability of half. Okay, and then, so that describes the sample space. Um, and then the T would be the sum of these two. So we're gonna get um, zero plus one is one, zero plus two is two. Um, I might line them up better. Um, and the probability that goes with that would be um, a third times a half, which would be a sixth. Or we can just set up the table like this sideways, um, vertically. Okay, so that would be a sixth as well. And then two plus one is three, and that would be a sixth. Oh, they'll all be a sixth, won't they? Because it's all a third times a half. Two plus two is four. Okay, four plus one is five. And four plus two is six. So my distribution is that T can be the numbers from one to six with probability one sixth each time. That's the same as an ordinary die. So that's telling me that when I roll these two dice, it's exactly the same as if I just roll one ordinary die. Six, six, four, six. Oh, there's a one. 
five, three. Oh, wow. That's really cool. I reckon if I rolled them enough times and did a tally, it would sort of even out as um, the same every time. I wonder what other pairs of dice might be able to produce the same result as a single die. Um, if any of you who are watching of this find another pair, I'd really like to know. Let me know in the discussion forums. But for now, that's pretty cool.